Tit Heparor or Tyath Hepera Susanus II, Greek Psi Omicron Epsilon Sigma Epsilon Mu Nu Eta Sigma, or Hor Pas Abakar Eni at 2, Egyptian Hour P3 SB3 HI less than N greater than NIWT, was the last king of the 21st dynasty of Egypt. His royal name means image of the transformations of Re in Egyptian. Susenis II is often considered the same person as the high priest of Ammon known as Susenis III. The Egyptologist Carl Janssen Winkel notes that an important graffito from the Temple of Abydos contains the complete titles of O King Tyath Hepera, Seti Penri Passe Bakareni at Mer Yamun, who is simultaneously called the HPA and Supreme Military Commander. This suggests that Susenis was both king at Tarnis and the high priest in Thebes at the same time meaning he did not resign his office as high priest of Ammon during his reign. The few contemporary attestations from his reign include the aforementioned graffito in Seti I's Abydos Temple, an ostrichon from Mum LQAAB, an affiliation at Karnak on his presumed burial, which consists of a gilded coffin with a royal uraeus and a mummy, found in an ante-chamber of Susanus I's tomb at Tanis. He was a high priest of Ammon at Thebes and the son of Pinajam II and Istemkab. His daughter Martkari B was the great royal wife of Asorkon I. Secure attestation of Susanis II. Items which can be added to this list include a year 5 mummy linen that was written with the high priest Susenis III's name. It is generally assumed that a year 13 3 per at 10 plus x date in fragment 3b, line 6 of the Karnak priestly annals belongs to his reign. Unfortunately, however, the king's name is not stated and the only thing which is certain is that the fragment must be dated after Siamun's reign whose year 17 is mentioned, in lines 3 to 5. Hence, it belongs to either Susanis II or possibly Shosheng I's reign. More impressive are the number of objects which associate Susanis II together with his successor, Shosheng I such as an old statue of Thutmose III which contains two parallel columns of texts, one referring to Susanis II and the other to Shoshank I, a recently unearthed block from Tel Bastar which preserves the nomen of Shoshank I together with the pre-nomen of Susanis II and a now lost graffito from Theban tomb 18. Recently, the first conclusive date for King Susanus II was revealed in a newly published priestly annal stone block. This document, which has been designated as Block Karnak 94, CL 2149, records the induction of a priest named Nesank Hefenmart into the chapel of Amun Re within the Karnak precinct in year 11, the first month of Shemu Day 13, of a king named Susenis. The preceding line of this document recorded the induction of Nesanka Fenmarat's father, a certain Nezaman, into the priesthood of Amun Re in King Siamun's reign. Siamun was the predecessor of Susanis II at Tanis. The identification of the aforementioned Susanis with Susanis II is certain since the same fragmentary annal document next records, in the following line, the induction of Hor the son of Nesankhefenmart, into the priesthood of the chapel of Amun Re at Karnak in year 3 the second month of Akit day 14 of King Asorkon the first reign just one generation. Later, with Shoshank the first's 21-year reign being skipped over, this would not be unexpected since most Egyptologists believe that a generation in Egyptian society lasted a minimum of 25 years and a maximum of 30 years. Therefore, the year 11 date can only be assigned to Susanis II and constitutes the first securely attested date for this pharaoh's reign. The British Egyptologist Aidan Dodson also accepts this new evidence from Frederick Peyraudo's discovery of this new unknown fragment of the Karnak priestly annals and has now discarded his previously published late 1980s theory that Susanis II's reign lay entirely within the reign of Shushonk.
I. Dodson notes the recently found annal block document establishes that Susenis II was indeed a real king, with a reign that was recognized at Thebes. Dodson also writes that Susenis II's royal status was confirmed when Jean Yoriata realized that a batch of crude faience shatters bearing the name of a king, Pasep Karnat, found in the antechamber of Tanis, tomb NRT3 did not belong to the tomb's original owner, Paseb Karnat I, as had originally been assumed, but to the later king of the same of name. This means that Susanus II's long-decayed coffin and mummy is located in the debris of this antechamber, of Susanus I's Tanis tomb where Hekakepera Sheshonk II's coffin and mummy mask was also discovered. Reign length Unlike his immediate predecessor and successor, Siamun and Shosheng I respectively Susanis II is generally less well attested in contemporary historical records even though various versions of Manetho's epitome credits him with either a 14 or a 35 year reign. This is based on personal information recorded in the large Dakla stela which dates to year 5 of Shoshenk I. The stela preserves a reference to a land register from year 19 of a pharaoh Susenas. However, since this document was composed under Shoshenk I, the use of the title pharaoh before Susenis here cannot establish whether the king was Susenis I or II. In year 5 of Shoshenk I, this king and the founder of the 22nd dynasty, dispatched a certain mass subordinate named Wayaset to the desert oasis town of Dakla in order to restore Shoshenk I's authority over the western oasis region of Upper Egypt. Wayaset's titles include prince and governor of the oasis. His activities are recorded in the large Dakla stela. This stella states that Wayaset adjudicate in a certain water dispute by consulting a land register which is explicitly dated to year 19 of a pharaoh Susenis, in order to determine the water rights of a man named NYSU Bastet. Kitchen notes that this individual made an appeal to the year 19 cadastral land register of King Susenis which belonged to his mother which historians assumed was made some 80 years ago during the reign of Susenis I. The land register recorded that certain water rights were formerly owned by NYSU based its mother Tuhunnet in year 19 of a King Susenis. This ruler was generally assumed by Egyptologists to be Susenis I rather than Susenis II since the latter's reign was believed to have lasted only 14-15 years. Based on the land register evidence, Wayerset ordered that these watering rights should now be granted to NYSU Bastille himself. However, if the oracle dated to year 19 of Susenis I as many scholars traditionally assumed, NYSU Bastet would have been separated from his mother by a total of 80 years from this date into year 5 of Shoshenk I, a figure which is highly unlikely since NYSU Bastet would not have waited until extreme old age to uphold his mother's watering rights. This implies that the aforementioned King Susenis here must be identified with Susenis II instead, Shosheng I's immediate predecessor, and, more significantly, that Susenis II enjoyed a minimum reign of 19 years. The term, mother, in ancient Egypt could also be an allusion to an ancestress. The matriarch of a lineage whereby NYSU Bastet may have been petitioning for his hereditary water rights that belonged to his grandmother, whose family name was Chuhonet. However, this argument does not account for the use of pharaoh as a title in the Dakala Stella, a literary device which first occurs late during the reign of Siamun, an Egyptian king who ruled between 45 to 64 years after year 19 of Susenis I. The most significant component of the great Dakala Stella is its paleography, the use of the title pharaoh Susenis. A scholar named Helen Jacquet Gordon believed in the 1970s that the large Dakla stella belonged to Shoshank III's reign due to its use of the title, Pharaoh, directly with the ruling king's birth name of i.e. 
Pharaoh Shoshenk, which was an important paleographical development in Egyptian history. Throughout the Old, Middle and New Kingdoms of Ancient Egypt, the word Pharaoh was never employed as a title such as Mr. and Mrs., or attached to a king's nomin such as Pharaoh Rameses or Pharaoh Amanhotep. Instead, the word PR backquote three or Pharaoh was used as a noun to refer to the activities of the king. Rolf Krauss aptly observes that the earliest attested use of the word Pharaoh as a title is documented in year 17 of the 21st dynasty King Siam Moon. From Karnak Priestly Annals Fragment 3b While a second use of the title Pharaoh birth name occurs during Susanus II's reign where a hieratic Graffito in the PTAH Chapel of the Abydos Temple of Seti I explicitly refers to Susanus II as the High Priest of Armenri, King of the Gods, the leader, Pharaoh Susanus. Consequently, the practice of attaching the title PR backquote three or Pharaoh with a king's royal birth name had already started prior to the beginning of Shosheng I's reign, let alone Shosheng III. Hence, the Shoshenk mentioned in the large year 5 Dakla Stella must have been Shoshenk the first while the Susanus mentioned in the same document likewise can only be Susanus the second which means that only five years would separate NYSU Bastet from his mother. The additional fact that the large Dakla Stella contains a year 5 IV Peret day 25 lunar date has helped date the aforementioned King Shoshenk's. Accession to 943 BC and demonstrates that the ruler here must be Shosheng I, not Shosheng III who ruled a century later. Helen Jacques Gordon did not know of the two prior examples pertaining to Siamun and Susanus II. Timeline The editors of the recent 2006 book on titled Handbook on Ancient Egyptian Chronology, Eric Hornung, Rolf Krauss and David Warburton, accept this logical reasoning and have amended Manetho's original figure of 14 years for Susanus II to 24 years for Susanus II. This is not unprecedented since Egyptologists had previously amended the reign of Siamun by a decade from nine years, as preserved in surviving copies of Manetho's Epitome, to 19 years based on certain year 16 and year 17 dates attested for the latter. Susanus II ruled Egypt for a minimum of 19 years based on the internal chronology of the large Dakla Stella. However, a calculation of a lunar Tepeshemu feast which records the induction of Hori son of Nesbane Fahor into the Ammon priesthood in regnal year 17 of Siamun, Susanus II's predecessor, demonstrates that this date was equivalent to 970 BC. Since Siamun enjoyed a reign of 19 years, he would have died two years later in 968-967 BC and been succeeded by Susanus II by 967 BC at the latest. Consequently, a reign of 24 years or 967-943 BC is now likely for Susanus II, hence, his reign has been raised from 14 to 24 years. Susanus II's royal name has been found associated with his successor, Shosheng I in a graffito from tomb TT18, and in an ostrichon from Mum LQAAB.